Salam and welcome back to another very exciting Photoshop tutorial. My name is Visha and today I'm going to show you how you can make anybody wear a mask in Photoshop. And of course, if you are new to this channel, go ahead and subscribe. Um, there are tons of videos, tutorials, time lapse tutorials, breakdown videos that you can watch and learn. Photoshop, Illustrator, After Effects, and Premiere Pro, especially Photoshop. If you aren't into Adobe products, then um, this is your channel. Go ahead and subscribe. You won't regret. With that said, let's jump into Photoshop. All right, so first of all, let's drag this image into the Photoshop. This is a picture of uh, some random guy that I found on the internet. Yeah, so let's go ahead and bring this picture as well and press enter. So we have two images. So let's go ahead and cut out this mask first of all. Okay, so I'm gonna use my favorite tool which is um, the object selection tool. So I'm using lasso mode and I'm gonna make a selection. By the way, if you don't have um, object selection tool, that means you are working on a software that is older than 2020. So you might want to upgrade. Or you can just go ahead and use some other tool like magnetic lasso tool or just pen tool. Doesn't really matter uh, because we're going to be doing some refinements on the edges later on. All right, so let's go ahead and click select and mask. And this looks okay-ish. It's okay. And add layer mask by clicking this button. All right, so I'm gonna do some refinement by taking the brush tool and increasing, oh sorry, decreasing the brush size and increase in the opacity up to 100% maybe and decrease in the hardness to maybe 70% and let's go ahead and refine this All right, so let's go ahead and pick the, the move tool and let's select this layer and let's press Control T to transform, right click, flip horizontal and let's rotate this guy and decrease the size by pressing the shift key and just like that. small so let's try to fix this mask onto him perfectly um, to do that we have to lower the opacity and check how his face looks all right so we may have to cut out this part let's go ahead and do that uh, I'm using the brush tool and I'm selecting the mask the mask uh, of this mask don't get confused um, zoom in here and let's increase the hardness up to maybe 80% and let's erase this part I'm using um, I'm pressing control Control Z to go back. I hope everybody knows that it's a universal undo button. Okay, so let's increase the opacity. All right, the next thing we are gonna do is um, convert this into a smart object by right clicking and pressing the convert to smart object. Um, and then I'm gonna 
press control T and I'm gonna bring this uh, warp mesh option and uh, maybe just we might not have to do a lot of work here Um, there looks okay by the way I'm pressing alt key to create points so that you can move around that point precisely uh, when you are done press this tick mark or just press enter all right so now we are going to do some color corrections to both the images uh, first of all the background image I'm gonna go to camera raw filter and I'm gonna decrease the exposure this is just to blend both the images gonna play around with these settings you can do exactly as I'm doing or just um, look for for the settings um, that you like I'm increasing the clearance because um, this mask has a lot of uh, clarity so yeah press OK and then let's go ahead and do that same thing with this one let's zoom in let's decrease the contrast maybe we want to decrease the highlights because it has too much highlight compared to this guy Okay, now let's go ahead and give it a curve. I'm going to image adjustments curves and I'm gonna play around with these settings. Sorry, these curves. Um, I'm gonna decrease the green a bit. All right, now let's go ahead and make some shadows. Um, I'm gonna create a new layer. Let's name it shadows. I'm gonna bring it down from here, just above the background. And I'm gonna use brush tool and I'm gonna click um, a dark area from this person and i'm going to decrease the opacity up to maybe 10 percent let's zoom in here and let's just start painting don't overdo it just um you want We want just a hint of the shadows. Let's go ahead and erase some uh, some parts of the shadow by using the eraser tool. I'm assuming this part will look darker because of the mask. 
All right, so now that we have some shadows under the mask, let's create some shadows above the mask as well. To do that, um, I'm going to create a new layer. And then I'm going to pick a color from here. And then I'm going to start painting just like, just like this one. Um, one thing you might want to do is um, clip it to the mask. So you can do that by clicking, by pressing the Alt key and bringing the mouse uh, between these two layers and clicking, left clicking here. All right, increase the brush size. Let's start painting. Just think of um, where um, the light source is. Um, I'm assuming the light source is somewhere around here from these shadows. Maybe I'm wrong, but we're gonna fix everything later on. So um, yeah, go ahead and paint. One thing you might want to do is um, put some sh uh, some skin tone on this mask as well because it's going to catch up some some sh like uh, lights reflecting off of the skin. So I'm gonna create a new layer and I'm gonna clip it to the same uh, mask layer and I'm gonna. Um, Pick a color from here and I'm gonna put some colors right there. Just a hint of um, showing this is a see-through mask. All right, now one thing I forgot to do was that um, to make this shadow layer into multiply from the blending mode. Let's name it shadow above. We'll leave this there uh, with 70% opacity. Let's name this there as like um, skin, I don't know, skin something. Okay, so let's go ahead and create the, the strips. I'm going to create a new layer. And I'm going to use the brush tool. I'm going to decrease the brush size and I'm going to increased hardness up to 100 or oh, not 100 maybe 95 percent and i'm gonna increase the opacity up to 100 percent so that we have maybe increase the hardness to maybe 100 percent all right um let's pick uh the white color you can just switch I don't know why I did that. Um, let's pick the white color and see how thin the strip is going to be. Yeah, it's too thin, I guess. This much is okay. All right. Uh, the strips are, uh, I think the strips are not going to be um, just uh, straight like that. Um, I think it's going to be, um, it's going to have some bends and stuff like that. So I'm just going to draw like that. And 
let's put it behind the mask like that and let's give it a mask a layer mask and let's go ahead and erase this part I'm gonna lower the hardness okay so one thing you can do is um, right click right click this there and go to blending options and give it a drop shadow make the shadows a little bit softer and press ok when you're done all right so the shadows are not going to be that perfect so what we're gonna do is um, right click here and go to create layer that's going to separate the shadow from the layer so it's gonna be useful press ok so now we have the shadow in a totally different layer we can adjust um, the shadow from here so I'm gonna create a mask on the shadow and I'm gonna erase some parts of the just like that this is just to uh, make it more realistic so this uh, this strip looks too white so let's go ahead and give it a uh, sort of a texture or something I'm creating a linear layer I'm gonna call it texture even though I'm not going to use a texture I'm just going to paint um, some parts into this layer clip it to the layer um, this layer let's call it strip strips and let's start painting uh, with maybe this color no maybe um, this color I'm gonna use opacity 10% and like that maybe Just giving it a texture because um, it looks too white. And um, let's go ahead and create uh, another layer. And let's go ahead and make this part a bit darker. Same here. All right. Um, one thing you might want to do is um, these strips um, look way more thicker than what I originally made. So I'm going to press Ctrl and click this layer. And I'm going to right click and select inverse. And I'm going to go to select a mask. And I'm going to increase the shift edge to maybe plus 45. And press OK and I'm gonna press Ctrl and X to cut out the outer area you might want to go ahead and fix the shadows as well all right um so these shadows look um, a bit hard uh, I'm gonna make a softer shadow by deleting some parts of it and put in some shadows right here so I'm gonna use opacity maybe 10% it's 
just like that. You don't want to make it um, look look like um, the mask is floating. Let's erase this part as well while we are at it. Increase the opacity. All right, uh, one thing I forgot to do again is um, make this layer into multiply in blending options. Um, I'm gonna put some more shadows here. I'm gonna create a new layer and clip it to the, the mask. Let's name it the mask, the mask, or just mask. All right. Um, I'm gonna put some shadows here because um, this line looks um, too crisp for me. Let's go ahead and multiply. Can't believe I'm spending hours putting a mask on Donald Trump's face. Just for you guys. Um, okay, so let's do some more color corrections to this image. Maybe play around with the curves, um, image adjustments, curves. Maybe remove some shadows from here all right um i think i'm gonna end the tutorial right here uh, because this can go on for hours um trying to fix these shadows and stuff um Alright, uh, one final thing that I always do, um, save the image as a JPEG file and open the image in a new tab and go to filter and camera raw filter and just play around with these settings. Suddenly he becomes really sick. By the way, this video is not about spreading hatred against anybody. Uh, I don't wish a death or a sickness upon anyone. Um, so yeah, I hope you all are staying healthy and are staying with your family and having a great time. And I hope I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, salam. So